hi guys welcome back to the course from this video we will start creating the user interface of our project for that we will use bootstrap to download bootstrap go to this link and scroll down and you will see this download bootstrap button click this and your download will be started I have already downloaded it so I will not download it again after download, extract it, that folder inside the downloads and now we will copy some files from bootstrap. First of all, we will need this bootstrap.css file under the CSS folder in the bootstrap directory. Copy this and paste this file inside the CSS folder of the project. After that, we will get the bootstrap.js file from the JS folder in the bootstrap. Copy it and paste it in the JS folder of the project. So we are good to go. Now, for our front end, we will use one of the starter templates provided by bootstrap. So we will go back to getbootstrap.com and click this getting started link. We will scroll down until we see this. This is the template we will use for our front end. We will modify it. So click it. Press Ctrl U. You can see that all the source code can now be copied here. So select all and copy this source code. Go to the index.php page and paste all the source code there. So you want to remove some things from here. For example, from the bottom of the page, you have to remove these two lines. And we also have to remove this one. Now we also need to change the path for this bootstrap.js and we will remove this min because we are using we are not using the minified version, we are using bootstrap.js, which is inside the JS folder in our project, and this is perfectly fine. Actually, it is linking to the jQuery from Google CDN. We will go up and we will remove from line number 15 to line number 18. We don't need that. So we will have to change the path because our bootstrap.css is now in CSS directory and we also have to change this bootstrap min.css to bootstrap.css so after that we will remove all of these lines save it and now we will go to the browser and check out how it looks localhost Uh, we have some problem here as you can see that some of the text is hidden behind this menu bar so we will fix this I think we have missed some code from get bootstrap yes we actually didn't copy the code from this starter template.css file so we will click it and copy all the code go inside your project create a style.css file inside css folder and paste that code in that file and now you have to link the style.css to 
this page this is style or CSS and I think now it should be fine let's see if it is fine yes now it is fine but we don't need all these three links we need login and register link so we will fix that next so first of all we will change the title of the page that will be login and we will remove this first one and change the link index.php and call it login this will be register and the link will be register.php and currently the active will be the index page so we will add active class to this link so we want to remove this div from the container and now we need a form so go first of all let's go and have a look at what we have right now perfectly fine we have two of these pages so now we want a form over here a login form so we'll go to bootstrap get bootstrap.com and in the header we will click this CSS link and here it is forms and we will copy this sample form from this website and paste it within the container and we will remove this now we will keep the checkbox we will remove the file input because we don't need it now we will give a name name attribute so that these values can be accessed from the php code so name will be email and name of this password field will be password and I think we should remove this ID because we just don't need this remove the ID save it uh, and now we also want to change the name of this checkbox member underscore me and we will change the name of this submit button as well the name will be equals to login and text will also be equal to login so now let's have a look at the login form now I hope it is good yes we have this checkbox control as well and we will change the text with the checkbox we will use this um, remember me now refresh this page now you can see the text has changed um, as you can see there is no space between this form and the header so we will do this by setting some margin of the form first of all we will set the method of the form which will be post and style will be 
margin top I think 35 pixel would be enough let's save it and refresh it now it's better so I think we are done with the index.php so we will create the register page we will copy all the code from this login page and paste it inside the registration page uh, we need some additional fields and we also need to remove some fields because we also need a field for name that would be of type text and its name will be name placeholder will be name for would be remove this for one and I think we are good to go now we need to remove this checkbox because we don't need this anymore remove it and we need to remove this change this login to register and this text as well um, we also want to have a confirmed password field so we will copy this password field and paste it below remove this for attribute now we will say confirm password and the placeholder will also be confirm password the name will be confirm underscore password sorry confirm underscore password and type it with password I think it is now good to go let's go and see that so go to the register.php now you can see that we have all the four fields name email password and confirm password I think we are done with this register.php page now we have to change some things we have to change this to register and we will remove this active class from login and to put that class with register oops go to firefox and refresh it now it's working gracefully so now i think we are done with this video and in the next video we will work on this my account and forgot password pages so stay tuned